Hi friends, I am Yashwadnath and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to be talking about a free initiative taken up by Cisco which, uh, which helps us to assimilate the communication network we see around it. To install this software, first of all, you need to open any browser like I opened my Google Chrome browser and in the search bar you need to type skills for all Cisco and then click enter. Now you need to click the first link, the skills for all. I will also keep this link in the description. Once you have once you have gone to their website, you need to you can scroll down and explore if you want. Now in order to start, first of all you need to create an account in this website. To do that, just click on this icon. So that, uh, as you are new to this software, click on sign up. Enter all the different details like uh, select the Google, uh, like what, whichever account you are having, your country, year of birth, etc. Then set a password, and once you have done everything, just go back and uh, enter the email ID and password which you have registered. And if you if you are doing this parallel with me, uh, pause this video, do that, do this step, and then continue. Now friends, once you have registered, once you have logged in with the, uh, with the mail I email id and password, your interface like this will open up. In this, first of all you need to click on catalog. In that, you need to scroll down. You need to click on this, getting started with Cisco Packet Tracer. Then just click uh, uh, as I am started. As I already uh, as I have already enrolled, it is just showing resume. But uh, uh, like for example, it will generally if it is a new code, it will just show get started. Click on that, uh, fulfill all the details it needs, and just go on. Once you have done, uh, once you have registered to that course, go to my learnings. In my learning, in progress, in progress, it will show that. Just open that. This is just an introductory uh, introductory course about how you can use this software. In that only you go to there is an option. In the second there is a thing called download and use Cisco Packet Tracer. Select it. Uh, as I have already opened this, it is showing it is asking me continue. I just click no. Now you can also view this in full screen. Now just scroll down a bit. And you you see an option like install Cisco Bracket Tracer. Click on that. It will open that website. Now just scroll down. If you scroll down, you in first it will show the first time in this course. If you have time, you can if you want you can read all this. Next here in one point zero point three you have a download Cisco Packet Tracer just below this icon you you see there is a link just click on this link now once you have clicked on that link and uh, it will gen it will direct you to the this page in that you just scroll down select whatever select the second select the version that is uh, uh, that is suitable for your system like if you are using a mac os system just select the first link if you are using a windows just select the second if you are using ubuntu just select this and then uh, then once you have uh, when you click on any link what it does it basically downloads the dot exe files and once the dot exe file is downloaded you can just run that uh, run the exe file you know run that installer and install that software and follow along now friends once you have installed this software uh, an icon like this will appear on the on your desktop if it's not appearing you can just type in the you can also type in the search bar and you can select this cisco packet tracer app click on that app sometimes it takes time to open just uh, click on it yeah wait for it yeah once it has opened it will ask you ask you to sign in you can ask you can sign in in any account you if you which 
if you have skills for the all account which you have created now you can just click on skills for all then click on this back of skills for all yeah then it will open your browser in that you just, just you you can just click on login once you have click uh, once uh, once it you have once you have clicked the login it will just the open your uh, open the website and you just need to clear, enter your details and click login and once you have done this it will show a message that you have successfully logged in you can just close your browser open the thing and you can start the thing now in this you have different menu bar where you have file option you can open save these are the basic things apart from this if you see here there is a timer running on that is whenever you open this environment a timer starts and it will basically show the time you have opened this browser now you know that uh, as this is an initial video let me do a simple a simple uh, simulation of connecting two systems and sending the information to them to do this first of all go to downward select the computer drag and drop it select one more computer and drag and drop it now in order to create a connection between this just select this icon connections in that there are different connections that are available for you you have console you have a copper straight through wire i will be using a copper crossover wire select that just click on this system click fast ethernet zero again click on select this system and click fast ethernet zero and the connection is established now now we need to give a ip address to both of them to do that just select click on the device and the screen like this will appear go to configure go to desktop in that you have different options like you have IP configuration PC wireless these are all the different things which have happens in our system also but in the simulation first of all you need to click on IP configuration and give some random IP address like I am giving some random IP address like 20.20.1 .20 .20 yeah, this is not a mandate IP address. You can give any example IP address like you can give 10.10.10 10 .10 .10 and then any number and click on enter. Then it will create a subnet mask by default. Just click on this and it will be saved for this. Now uh, select the second network, second system. Again go to desktop, IP configuration. Just uh, I will just uh, change the last name, last digit as uh, suppose 2 enter and it will generate an IP mask, subnet mask for it just close it now, now uh, basically you have created a connection and also you have given a unique IP address to both of them now open any one system go to desktop in that go to command prompt so in order to see whether it's working first you write IP config a command like IP config and see once you have done that you will see the different Bluetooth connections and everything it is just showed only the main important like a fast Ethernet and the Bluetooth connection if you want to see all the different configuration just click on IP config space uh, black slash and double and you need to always remember that before IP config and this black slash there should be a space and then click enter now it is showing all the different things like you have IPv6 address DCN if you click on go and it will show all the different Bluetooth connections also now see uh, now now let us uh, let us now send try to send a package to do this just we need to write a command like ping first when you write a ping it will just configure the whole thing now you need to send a package to the second PC and we have given IP address of whatever the IP address you know you need to remember that just that ping 20.20.20.2 20 20 and just I will click enter now you see by default it will send four, pack, four packets four packets to this PC and it will show the result that means it has sent four packages it has received the four package by the second system that is there is a no loss so zero percent loss but this is not an ideal case because in an ideal ideal network there will be some uh, routers in between due to which some loss may occur 
but this is just an example so let it it also show the minimum time maximum time what is the average time etc now this is only for the first system if you want you can do the same thing for second system select the system go to command prompt go to right ip config see it's working similarly if i want to see all the configuration just say ip config back space backslash all and see and everything you can see everything yeah next uh suppose if i want to ping just say right ping now i want to ping to the first system just just say ping or pc0 so ping 20.20.20.1 which is the ip address of this system and see and wait and you see this now now i hope friends you have understood a clear you have developed a small idea about how to install the system how to install the software and how to connect the basic connection in the further view in the future videos we will see the different connection different networking that we need that we can do with this system if you have any doubts related to the installation or the small example please feel free to comment that down below or you can even mail me to mail me at the email id provided in the description any suggestions on how can i improve my content or if you want to see any video on electronics please feel free to comment that also down below or you can email me at the mail id given in, given in the description if you like this explanation please like this video share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel click the bell icon to see all to get all the notification and i will see you again in a new video with a new concept thank you friends and have a nice day